Hi, I'm Kathleen Digree. I'm a professor of neurology and ophthalmology here at the University of Utah Moran Eye Center. And today we're going to look at the trigeminal nerve and testing the trigeminal nerve. Uh, as you recall from medical school or from anatomy courses, that the trigeminal nerve has three branches. The ophthalmic branch, the maxillary branch, and the mandibular branch. And so when we're testing sensation to the face and the trigeminal nerve serves the face, we're really testing all three of these branches. Look at this diagram from Walsh and Hoyt. Okay, now let's test the trigeminal nerve. First, I'm going to just use light touch. Can you feel this? Does it feel the same on both sides? And I'm going to test the first division, the second division, the maxillary division, by just touching. Does yes. that feel the same? Yes. How about the third yes. down here in the medibular region? And those are the three divisions. It's important to remember that the trigeminal nerve does go back quite a ways to the top of the he head. So the first division does serve a large portion of the head. Now the trigeminal nerve is very interesting because it's besides the sensation of these three branches, the caudal nucleus, which goes into the upper cervical cord. And if you look at this diagram here in Walsh and White, you can see that the, that the caudal nucleus goes down and that the sensory exam of that caudal nucleus is arranged differently. It's not in three divisions. It's more of an onion skin. And that would be acro going across the face like this. And so that you might want to think about that if somebody has different sensation and it doesn't really follow the three divisions. Think about that onion skinning and a caudal nucleus problem. Now another portion of testing the uh, trigeminal nerve is the motor portion of the trigeminal nerve, and that really is the masseter and the temporalis. And you can test that by just having somebody bite down, bite down. And here you're feeling the masseter muscles to see if they're about the same in strength. And also you can feel their temporalis muscle. Sometimes you can ask them to open up their mouth a little bit and then try to close it, and you can test that strength that way too. Now, the, one of the most important parts of the trigeminal exam for a neuro-ophthalmologist or for an ophthalmologist or any eye care provider is going to be testing the corneal sensation. And to do that, I just use a little cotton tip applicator. It has a little cotton tip here, you can see. And I make a little wisp of cotton by just pulling the cotton off. Okay, so you can see I've got a little wisp, a little wisp of cotton. And to do this, I'm just going to ask the subject to look straight ahead. And I'm going to come across the side to the sclera first. And then when I hit the cornea, you see a blink. And that's a normal corneal sensation. And I'll do the same thing to the other side. But starting at the sclera, which won't have the trigeminal nerve endings, once you get to the cornea, you'll get this blink reflex. Um, you, can, you can even use the cotton tip to check the nose sensation, maxillary sensation, and uh, you'll get something like that uh, as, a, as a response. You can also take the cotton tick ap applicator and make it kind of sharp and pokey and say, does that sharpness feel about the same, about the same, about the same? And you can even use the top of the head. And that tests the trigeminal nerve sensation.